praise god brothers and sisters welcome to another day that the lord has made may we be able to rejoice and be glad in it our god is good and all the time that's his nature he who started a good work in us he continues to accomplish it he's enabled us he stood with us through the last few days as we revisit the psalms learning how to pray putting our hearts to it and i know that our lives are transformed and we are a different kind of people today has found me in a place that is not ordinary but because i have to do what god requires that i do my message still has to come out in a difficult situation but it has to come out i'm telling you that every time we open our bibles to read the devil doesn't like it so he creates every situation to deny us a chance and today is one such a day oh the devil is a liar he has no right he has been defeated he remains defeated our altar continues to shine bright with the presence of God 24 7 because while we are busy studying the scriptures together on YouTube while your lives are being transformed mine are, is transformed as well and I thank you who watch my videos because you encourage me you give me reason to go back to the scriptures and yes together we are more than conquerors so today we are going to be summarizing psalms 47 up to psalms 56 and today on our facebook page we already shared psalms 47 as our rima word for the day it's a psalm of, of praise and it says that all oh, clap your hands all you peoples shout to god with a voice of triumph for the lord most high is awesome he's a great king over all the earth he will subdue the peoples and us and the nations and our feet he will choose our inheritance for us the excellency of jacob who he loves god has gone up with a shout the lord with the sound of a triumph sing praises to god sing praises sing praises to our king sing praises for god is the king of all the earth sing praises with understanding god reigns over the nations god sits on his throne the princes of the people have gathered together the people of the god of abraham for the shields of the earth belong to god he is greatly exalted Brethren, I know because of the circumstances we are dealing with, we come to God regularly to ask and ask and ask and ask. But a time has come, dear brother and sister, that we need to go back to God with our hearts full of thanksgiving. And while I was reflecting on this, the Holy Spirit reminded me of a relationship between a parent and a child. And you know, while we were growing up, all we did was ask this, ask that. And we know a time like that was a time like this. Now when kids are going back to school, they're asking. And there is a, a lot of pressure on finances. And so sometimes parents get angry. But what would happen if during a time like this of go back to school if your son came to you and he says daddy or mommy thank you for paying my school fees i see the effort you put in you have never failed and it's okay whatever it is we are going with that how would you feel if your child left you to decide within your pocket and started supporting you with great words of encouragement I can assure you, you will be relieved and you'll do your work with limited pressure. 
And when I was reflecting on that, I understood that really as men, children of God, we go to him all the time to ask how have when have we sat down and reflected on all that God has already done for us. He's given us life. We are not the ones in the hospital. We are not the ones on the hospital bed. We are not the ones um, living on the streets. We have jobs. We are in good health. We have something that we can call our own. We are not in prison. We are not being persecuted. Okay, whatever you're dealing with, you have a life. What would happen, sorry about that, if we would come to God and say, God, thank you for all that I am, for all that you've done for me, for being there for me, what would change? If we did not come to God to ask and complain and nag and ask questions, what would happen if the earth chose to sing for God, I mean everyone in the earth, to worship him, to say thank you God for all that we have. What would change? If we obeyed the will of God, like Jesus obeyed all the 613 laws in the Bible, he was found without sin. He did not sin. He worshipped his God with all his heart, with all his mind, with all his soul. And he did not interfere. He did not interfere. Can we make time, make purpose to worship God and see for a change what God would do? We do it consistently as we read the word of God and we say for this particular month we are not going to ask for anything. We are going to worship. Pray, sing, dance, glorify God and see what happens. Psalms 48, the glory of God in Zion. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in his holy mountain, beautiful in elevation. The joy of the holy earth is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is in her palaces. He is known as her refuge. For behold, the kings assembled, they passed by together, they saw it, and so they marveled, they were troubled, they hastened away, fear took hold of them there, and pain as of a woman in bath pangs, as when he broke the ships of Tashish with an east wind, as we have heard, so we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish it forever. We have thought, O oh God, on, our, on your loving kindness in the midst of your temple, according to your name, O oh God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgment. Walk about Zion and go all around her, count her towers. Mark well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces that you may tell it to the generation following. For this is God. Our God forever and ever he will be. Holy Spirit help us. He will be our guide even to death. Continue to worship. Psalms 49 talks of the confidence of the foolish. 
let us listen carefully and eliminate the danger if at all we are exposed to the risk of being foolish hear this all people give ear all inhabitants of the world both low and high rich and poor together the mouth shall speak wisdom and the meditation of my heart shall give understanding i will incline my ear to a proverb i'll disclose my dark saying on this herb why should i fear in the days of evil when the iniquity at my heels surrounds me those who trust in their wealth and boost in the multitude of their riches none of them can be can by any means redeem his brother nor give to god a ransom for him for the redemption of their of their souls is costly and it shall cease forever that he should continue to live eternally and not see the pit for he sees wise men die likewise the fool and the, and the and the senseless person perish and leave their wealth to others their inner thought is that their houses will last forever their dwelling places all generations they call their hands after their own names they call their lands after their own names nonetheless man though in honor does not remain he is like the beasts that perish this is the way of those who are foolish and of their posterity who approve their sayings like sheep they are laid in the grave death shall feed on them the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning and their beauty shall be consumed in the grave far from their dwelling but God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, and he shall receive me. Do not be afraid when one becomes rich, because the glory of his house is increased. For when he dies, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Though while he lives, he blesses himself, for men will praise you when you do well for yourself. He shall go to the generations of his fathers, they shall never see light. A man who is in honor, yet does not understand, is like the beasts that perish. Praise God. When you listen to the word of God, it is life in itself. The scripture here tells us that it is foolish to believe in things the world has to offer. Because at the prime of your life, you leave them for others to enjoy. And you go to a place where you're far away, where your body is buried far away from your soul. But it is encouraging you to be like a wise man who chooses God. Because God will redeem the wise man from his grave. He will not allow his soul to perish. Let us not be foolish brethren. We could be born again foolish Christians. We could be born again. I mean, we could be foolish worshippers. Let us try to be wise. Again, coming back. Sorry about that. To worship God. Psalms 50 god the righteous judge the mighty one god the lord has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to its going down out of zion the perfection of beauty god will shine forth our god shall come and shall not keep silent a fire shall devour before him and it shall be very tempestuous all around him he shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let the heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I shall speak. O Israel, and I shall testify. I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I will not rebuke you for your sacrifices 
all your burnt offerings which is continually before me i will not take a bull from your house nor a god out of your folds for every beast of the forest is mine and the cattle on their thousand hills i know all the birds of the mountains and the wild beasts of the fire filled are mine if i were hungry i would not tell you for the world is mine and all its fullness well i will eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of the gods offer to god's thanksgiving and pay your vows to the most high call upon me in the day of trouble i will deliver you and you shall glorify me but the wicked god says what right have you to declare my statutes or take my covenants in your mouth saying you hate the you hate instruction and cast my words behind you when you say you saw a thief you consented with him and have made a partaker with adulterers you give your mouth to evil and your tongue frames in deceit you sit and speak against your brother and slander your own mother's son these things you have done and i have kept quiet you thought that i was altogether like you but i will rebuke you and set them in order before your eyes now consider this you who forgot forget god lest i tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver whoever offers praises glorifies me and to him he orders his conduct all right i will show the salvation sorry of god psalms 51 is a psalms of repentance and while we are reading this it's a psalm that david wrote or prayed rather when he was repenting to God after he had sinned with Bathsheba after he had killed Uriah and the prophet Nathan had come to him and faulted him according to the word of God and David realized it and he repented To the chief musician, a psalm of David when Nathan, the prophet, went to him after he had gone in to Bathsheba. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Wash me through my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is always before me against you you alone have i sinned and done this evil in your sight that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge behold i was brought forth in iniquity and in sin my mother conceived me behold you desire truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom Plunge me with hype sauce. High soap and shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, I, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. 
you do not delight in the burnt offering the sacrifices of god are a broken spirit a broken and contrite heart these O oh god you will not despise do good in your good pleasure to zion build the walls of jerusalem then you shall be pleased with with the sacrifices of righteousness with burnt offering and whole burnt offering they then they shall offer bulls to your altar praise god brothers and sisters i have already said here that there is no sin that god cannot forgive the word of god says that god forgives sin because of who he is and he keeps no account of such sins that is in the book of uh, galatians why are we holding on sins which could take us to hell yet god says come to me the way you are and i shall give you rest why do we want to carry things and get tired i am asking you this question but every time i remember that god had opened the door for me and given me a platform to repent and walk in peace and i didn't know and i was going around carrying shame carrying disgrace carrying everything on my head i thank god that one day my eyes opened and i realized that i was doing the work of god for him thinking i was brilliant and an expert at handling life today I sit and I say thank you Lord for giving me a chance to know you, to serve you, to worship you and like David we need to humble ourselves. We may not have a Nathan speaking to us but we have the Holy Spirit convicting us and brethren you know you need God. Let him do his will in your life don't limit him psalms 52 the end of the wicked and the peace of the godly to the chief musician a contemplation of david when diog the edomite went and told saul and said to him david has gone to the house of a marriage you know when saul killed the priest katasi of the man who could not keep his mouth shut so this is what david prayed for why do you boast in evil almighty man the goodness the goodness of god endures continually your tongue devises destruction like a sharp razor working deceitfully you love evil more than good laying lying rather than speaking graciously you love all devouring words holy spirit help us you deceitful tongue god shall likewise destroy you forever he shall take you away and pluck you out of your dwelling place and uproot you from the land of the living the righteous shall the right the righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him saying here is the man who did not make god his strength but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in the wickedness but I am like a green olive tree in the house of the Lord. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise you forever because you've done it. And in the presence of your saints, I will wait on your name for it is good. Amen. Psalms 53 is a folly of the godless and the restoration of Israel. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. The fool has said in their heart that there is no God. There is, they are corrupt and have done abominable iniquity. There is none who does good. 
God looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand, who seek God. Every one of them has turned aside. They have together become corrupt. There is none who said good. No, not one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up the, my people? As they eat bread and do not call upon God, there they are in great fear, where no fear was, for God has scattered the bones of him who encamps against you. You have cut them to shame, put them to shame, because God has despised them. All that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion. When God brings back the captivity of his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. It is those who think that there is no God in their hearts that are foolish. Psalms 54 Answered prayer for deliverance from adversaries. Oh, David. David had it rough when he was still fighting to protect himself from Saul who was persecuting him. Everywhere he went, people who do not mind their business were always looking at him and reporting him to Saul. And this is a psalm written for one like them, the, Ziphan, the, the, the Ziphite who went and said to Saul that is David not living with us? And David said, Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and oppressors have sought after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with those who uphold my life. He will repay you, my enemies, for their evil. Cut them off in your truth. I will freely sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, O Lord. For it is good, for he has delivered me out of my troubles, and my eyes have seen it desire upon my enemies. Psalms 55, trust in God concerning the treachery of friends. As in there is no problem on the face of the earth that does not have a prayer in the Psalms. The prayer we should say when we are trusting God in the face of our treacher, treacherous friends. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I am restless in my complaint and mourn noisily because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they bring down trouble upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is severely pained within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearlessness and trembling have come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. So I said, all oh, that I have wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. Indeed, I would wander far off and remain in the wilderness. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Destroy all oh order and divide your their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on
destruction is in their midst oppression and deceit do not depart from its streets sorry i've missed it uh, let me go back to verse 4. My heart is severely pained within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearlessness and trembling have come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. So I said, all that I have wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. Indeed, I would wander far off and remain in the wilderness. I would hasten my escape from the wind, the wind storm and tempest. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on its walls. Iniquity and trouble are so in the midst of it. Destruction is in its midst. Oppression and deceit do not depart from its streets, for it is not an enemy who reproaches me. Then I would bear it. No, it is one who hates me, who has exalted himself against me. Then I could hide from him, but it was you, a man, my equal, my companion, and my acquaintance. He took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in the throng. Let death seize them, let them go down alive into hell. For wickedness is in their dwelling and among them. For as for me, I will call upon God, and the God shall save me. Evening and morning, and it's noon, and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He has redeemed my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. For there were many against me. God will hear and afflict them, even he who abides from the old, because they do not change. Therefore, they do not fear God. He has put forth his hands against those who were at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was at his was in his heart his words were softer than oil yet they were drawn they yet they were drawn swords cast your burden on the lord and he shall sustain you he shall never permit the righteous to be moved but you O oh god shall bring them down to the pit of destruction bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days but i'll trust in you what is very interesting in this verse in this in this psalm is the way david sought god to divide and destroy the tongues of his enemies what i pick from here is the way God destroys our enemies is putting them in a position where they cannot agree. Bringing confusion and do not, allow, not allowing them to communicate. When the Holy Spirit came upon the apostles, they spoke in different tongues. But they, the people around them could hear them as if they were speaking in their language. So there was a communication. People understood each other. But for the enemy, when they understand each other, they build a strong force against you. And David is teaching us to pray that God will destroy their tongues and not allow them to communicate. Because when there is no communication, there will be disagreement and they will never plan anything and it succeeds. And he says... Whatever situation I'm faced with, for me, I will worship my God. And it's not just said, he did it. Glory and honor is his. We return it back to him. Finally, Psalms 56, prayer for relief and tormentors, from tormentors. You know, every day. I don't know whether we know that this is what we are going to expect. But like David, we also have people who have tormented us. 
And God expects us to learn how to pray against such people. People who cannot walk alone. People who mind our business as if it is theirs. People who do not want to see us having peace. This is the prayer that we need to say for them. Be merciful to me, O God, for man would swallow me up fighting all day. He oppressed me. My enemies would not, would wound me all day. For there are many who fight against me almost time. Whenever I, I am afraid, I'll trust in you. In God, I'll, I'll praise his words. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear. What can fresh do to me? Definitely nothing. All day they twist my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather together. They hide. They mark my steps. When they lie in wait for my life, shall they escape by iniquity? In anger cast down the peoples, O oh God. You number, you number my wanderings. Put my tears into your bottle. As they, as they not, are they not in your book? When I carry out to you, when I cry out to you, then my enemies will turn back. This I know because God is for me. In God I'll praise His words. In go, in the Lord I will praise His words. In God I have put my trust, I'll not be afraid. What can man do to me? Vows made to you are building up building upon me. O oh God, I render praises to you, for you have delivered my soul from death. Have you not kept my feet from falling that I may walk before God in the light of the living? Praise God again, brothers and sisters. I thank God that he has enabled us to walk this journey today. It did not come easy, but it came nonetheless. I hope God has been bless a blessing to you as we read his word. And I hope that every day we are reading Psalms, you're picking something that you're learning. Let us take time to learn the Psalms and learn how to pray. Every day we recite these prayers. They shape and fashion our journey. We know that our God watches over us. He knows our weaknesses. He knows when we are not able to pray. He knows those who persecute us. We are trusting in him and we are surrendering everything to him. And we pray that as he helps you, to deal with the situations that, he's deal that he brings across in your path. That God will do it for all his people who love him. Whether they watch these videos or not. But let uh, God's people be able to connect with God. And let God answer their prayers. And let God be their consolation. And when he continues to do all that, all the glory and honor is his. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm sorry about the yawning, but I'm grateful that God has enabled me to do this. It was not easy, but it is done, and the enemy has no place in the work of God. Thank you, Jesus, for tonight. I give you all the glory and honor. I thank him, and I praise him. Until tomorrow when we meet again, may God bless you. Have a good night, and bye-bye.